In today's video, we'll go over how we sometimes ruin our foods by simply putting them in the refrigerator. We'll also see how you can avoid making these simple mistakes and even how to minimize the damage done by storing certain food items in the refrigerator by going over easy hacks you might not know. Many people believe that food kept in the refrigerator stays fresh and wholesome for extended periods of time. For the most part, they are absolutely right. In order to keep your food fresh, a low temperature must be maintained around the food, which reduces the reproductive rate of harmful bacteria. Keeping your food at cool temperatures, usually at or below 40 degrees, keeps most foods fresh and ready for eating. However, keeping certain foods in the fridge can actually do more harm than good. Some foods don't react well to frigid temperatures and keeping these foods chilly can actually cause them to lose their nutritional value or worse, they might cause some unwanted side effects that can be really harmful to your body. Be careful not to keep the foods in this video stored in the fridge. According to healthcare experts, during the process of refrigeration and storage, there is some loss of essential nutrients. Moreover, foods lose their original color, taste, and texture. Bad news for anyone who values their health getting the most out of the foods we eat. Our mission for today is to help you identify which foods are best stored at room temperature. Let's explore the list of 12 foods that we're destroying by storing in the refrigerator. Number one, bananas. Let's start with everyone's favorite fruit, the banana, a potassium rich yellow fruit, which is an ideal snack for in between meals and can be enjoyed in countless different dishes. Their subtle sweetness makes them ideal for pancakes, muffins, cakes, smoothies, and other dishes. Putting unripe bananas in the fridge can slow down the ripening process due to the cold temperature. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, storing bananas at a cold temperature will make them bitter and discolored. The ideal temperature for the storage of bananas is 56 to 58 degrees Fahrenheit. And for this, the ideal place to save the bananas is on the countertop, where they can ripen naturally. Number 2 potatoes. In many homes, potatoes are a staple diet and a versatile vegetable. These are rich in potassium, vitamin C, and B6, among other essential vitamins and minerals. Healthcare experts state that potatoes should not be refrigerated. One of the main nutrients in potatoes, starch, may change into sugar at low temperatures. This procedure might cause discoloration during cooking and change the flavor to be a bit sweeter. Storing them in the fridge also increases the moisture, which enhances the proliferation of harmful bacteria. If you want to store potatoes for a long period of time, store them in a cold, dry pantry. Potatoes do best in a cool and dark room with good ventilation. You can store potatoes in the fridge once they're cooked. Number 3. Tomatoes Tomatoes are a red, pulpy, technically fruit that stays fresh outside the refrigerator. Tomatoes' taste and texture change in a cold environment. Their flavor becomes monotonous. Cold temperatures have a similar impact on the nutritional profile of tomatoes. Tomatoes that are not fully ripe should never be kept in the refrigerator since the cold stops the ripening process and prevents the tomatoes from reaching their ultimate luscious flavor. Leave them to naturally ripen at room temperature on your countertop. To maintain the moisture content that keeps them fresh, keep their stems down. If they are ripe, you can store them in the refrigerator, but before using them, return them to room temperature. Number 4. Onions Onions are highly nutritious vegetables. Traditional doctors usually suggest them for heart problems, oral sores, and headaches because of their medicinal properties. They are a staple in many of our everyday recipes and are tasty, adaptable, and inexpensive. Their strong flavor and aroma enhance your recipes. For a variety of reasons, it's generally not a good idea to keep onions in the refrigerator. The humidity in the fridge promotes the growth of many fungi and bacteria. At low temperatures, starch is converted to sugar which makes them somewhat sweeter and loses their unique flavor. Moreover, everything in the refrigerator starts to smell like onions due to their overpowering odor. Undoubtedly, that's a bad idea. To prevent adding an unpleasant odor to the refrigerator, slice the onions and keep them in an airtight bag. As per Natalie Alboranci, a scientist residing in London and the CEO of Nally Consulting, store onions in a cool, dry place away from heat, moisture, and direct sunlight. Number 5. Honey Honey is a syrupy liquid that honeybees make from plant nectar. It's rich in nutrients and antioxidants, has an antibacterial role, and can play a role in the management of diabetes as part of a balanced diet. But the question is, can we store honey in the fridge? The answer is no. Everybody wants to spread yellow, juicy, syrupy, and clear honey to drizzle over the toast. Putting it in the fridge can change its texture and make it thicker, like dough. 
it begins to crystallize in the fridge. If you want the crystallized honey to regain its texture, put the jar in warm water. It should always be kept in a cool, dry place away from sunlight. According to a New Zealand-based honey company, Manuka Corner, honey has an indefinite shelf life even without preservatives due to its high sugar content. The ideal place would be your kitchen countertop at room temperature, which maintains its texture and consistency. Number 6. Bread Bread should not be kept in the refrigerator. The starch in bread crystallizes at low temperatures, causing the texture to become dry and crumbly. Bread that has lost moisture will taste stale, be dry and rough, and lose its appeal. The moisture in the fridge makes the bread loaf soggy. Room temperature is the ideal storage condition for bread, according to experts. Homemade bread at room temperature will have the best quality for 3 to 5 days. Commercially prepared bread can be used within 5 to 7 days. If you want to store bread for a longer time, then freezing the sealed pack of bread will help retain its quality and safety by preventing mold growth. Number 7. Olive Oil Never store olive oil in the fridge. It will solidify and degrade. Olive oil is a pure fat with almost zero water content. It's a liquid at room temperature, but its texture changes at lower temperatures. The consistency becomes thicker in the refrigerator, making it challenging to use or pour. It also has a major impact on the flavor and quality. Cold temperatures also change its chemical composition, which alters its flavor and aroma. Store it in an airtight container on a cold, dry, dark, and well-ventilated surface, such as the kitchen countertop or pantry. Number 8. Coffee Coffee is an essential grocery item in almost every American home. It's the one thing that gets us out of bed in the morning, and it's the key to productivity for all sleep-deprived people. The question usually arises, can we store coffee in the fridge? Coffee, whether ground or whole, should never be kept in the refrigerator, not even in an airtight container. It's not cold enough to maintain its freshness. Coffee serves as a deodorizer, so it takes in all of the smells in your refrigerator. This will impact the final flavor of your cup of coffee. The humidity level in the refrigerator has a significant impact on ground coffee, which adversely affects the flavor. The recommended practice is to never store ground coffee. Grind your coffee as soon as possible before brewing it. If your coffee needs to be pre-ground, try to keep it at room temperature in a vacuum-sealed container made of materials that won't add flavor to your coffee. Ceramic is great. Number 9. Garlic Without garlic, where would we be? It enhances the flavor and scent of many foods. It's one of the easiest foods to keep in your kitchen in terms of storage. Giving it the room and air it needs will provide you with months of rich, fresh flavor. When choosing where to store unpeeled garlic, Stephen Chavez, chef and lecturer at the Institute of Culinary Education, advises using the counter rather than the refrigerator. Garlic sprouts in a couple of weeks due to the chilly temperature in the refrigerator. Although they are edible, sprouts may taste bitter. It's not compatible with the humidity found in refrigerators. It shrivels and becomes mushy. Clothes that you have peeled in excess are best kept in the refrigerator. Place them in an airtight bag or container or cover them with plastic wrap. Number 10. Peaches. Store fresh peaches at room temperature without washing them. If peaches are plucked hard and kept refrigerated before being allowed to mature at room temperature, they are especially prone to becoming mealy and flavorless. Even once peaches are returned to room temperature, refrigeration for more than a week or two lowers the concentrations of several enzymes and interferes with their regular function. According to Whole Foods Market's culinary development manager, Molly Siegler, peaches will start to dehydrate and get wrinkly and darker in color when stored in the refrigerator. Refrigeration will impede the peaches' natural ripening process, in addition to destroying their attractive appearance. Number 11. Cucumber Crisp and refreshing, the ideal cucumber adds zing to salads, sandwiches, smoothies, and mixed drinks. However, if not stored correctly, this vegetable becomes mushy and inedible. Are cucumbers freezer-friendly, though? They are, but it's not usually advised. This is due to the high water content in cucumbers, which causes them to become rather mushy and lose their distinctive crunch when defrosted. Ideally, the only uses for freezing cucumbers that you should consider are dips, smoothies, and other blended drinks where the post-freeze spongy texture won't be an issue. Cucumbers should be preserved with optimal ventilation and little moisture exposure to keep them firm and fresh. Number 12. Avocados Avocados should be kept at room temperature until they're completely ripe. Refrigerating avocados will cause the ripening process to be slowed down, according to Kevin Takarada, the proprietor of Maki Maki Sushi in New York. Cold temperatures reduce both the creamy texture and flavor. 
Your countertop is the best place to store unripe avocados so they can ripen naturally. As you can see, not every item does well in the colder sections of our refrigerator. Knowing the ideal storage location for each item guarantees that its flavor and nutritional content are maintained. Good storage preserves the nutritional value of your food and boosts your well-being. Your health is our priority. If you're someone who values their health and is on the path to improving as many health areas as possible, watch our video on the ways to lower your creatinine levels, or maybe our video on how to treat gout and lower uric acid levels. Thanks for watching. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video on natural and simple ways to improve your health. Remember to stay healthy and stay based.